whatever channel you want. I was on too. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, what's, what's going, going on, man? What's going on? We got a call. What's, what's, did you guys call? We didn't call. Someone called about chance. That must have been somebody else. It wasn't us. Oh, okay. is he here? Yeah. Does he need us? Uh, I don't know. He said he was outside. So if, he's, well, if he no, hasn't he's, outside. He's not outside. It could be somebody messing with him, but he doesn't, as far as you know, he doesn't need us or anything like that? Not that I know of. Okay. All right. Um, you want to grab him? We can talk to him real quick. But right. it could be somebody messing with him. I don't. I don't know if he's going to come out and talk to you guys or not. Okay. If he doesn't want us to talk to us, that's what it is. Let's see what's going on with him. I said he has a YouTube channel that people call him. He's, yeah, he's had calls from welfare checks for uh, exposing himself on. Yeah. Oh, that's that. Okay. He called for him all the time. He was doing weird stuff on YouTube. Sounds like this is a third party, so I don't know. Ow! Yeah. Hey man, how you doing? Not good. What's going on? I've been being bullied online for the last seven years. You've been being bullied online? By people on the internet. And I don't want to get arrested, but I want to be honest with you guys, okay? The police and those sort of people in law enforcement have helped us at all whatsoever. We've gone through lawyers, we've gone through detectives, we've gone through FBI, and it's led me to do things on the internet that I don't want to do to stop these people. And I don't want to be doing this shit, but they keep on attacking me, him, my family. We've tried going through every legal route we can, and I mean every legal route that we can. I've tried getting help. I've even gone to counseling. I've done all kinds of stuff. Matter of fact, just for the day, I just got done with therapy for the first time in how many years that? Since like 2012. And I don't know what to do. These guys have been harassing me, my family. They've made death threats, bomb threats. If you look on the roof right here, they've thrown paint on our house. They dropped it from a drone. And nobody will do anything to help. And I don't know what to do. I am scared of these guys. I truthfully don't know what to do. And if you guys can help me figure this out, I will do whatever I can to help you guys. These guys are out of state. And they are evil ass people. They literally have money. And have been getting away with doing this to me and several other people. And we don't know what to do. 21. We really don't. We have gone through, like I said, every legal system that we can, mm -hmm. and we don't know what to do. We're terrified of these people. The main guy in Music Biz, Marty, who is no longer on YouTube, he is now on Rumble. He uh, he targets people like myself. Okay. He he sees people like me that like you know that look different. He sees people like me as an easy target that he can make money off of and attack and go after. Okay. He does, he's done this to me. I've watched several friends of mine go through this. I've watched people like myself end their lives because of this guy. Just just a few years ago, I and I haven't done it since, and thank God for my family for this. But a few years ago, I attempted to take my own life two different times because of this guy. And my family saved me from that. They saved me from going down that road. And I don't know what else to do about these guys. Me and my friends every day are constantly trying to figure out what can we do to stop these guys. Because these guys are online. They are constantly harassing him, calling. How many times would you say they call your phone? I don't know. I can't believe it. Like, they, they, they call his phone many, many now times. His, now, his mom got her phone changed. Right. Phone number changed. They had three days they had the number. And, we, and number? we don't know how they got it. We don't know. Are you still putting stuff on YouTube, man? No. We told you a couple times. About no, I've been re I've been retired from that. I've but been you, retired. You said from you're that. gonna stay off of YouTube. But yeah, you and I am. But what happened you been was, on YouTube? yeah, I'm not on there at all anymore, at all whatsoever. When was the last but, time you got on? Like last time I got on was literally just to watch something, which is literally just the other night. I haven't been really posting anything or anything like that. But what all this is all about is uh, my girlfriend out in the one that's over in Australia. Okay. For my birthday, she... Let's go here for a minute. What's up, man? 
Uh, show, so my you, birthday, show you these numbers for these guys. Like, you know the Here's super rings that you see online? Okay. Okay. Like those real expensive yeah. ones? I'm listening, boss. She wanted to uh, send me one for my birthday. You know, she wanted to send me one for my birthday as a birthday present. And music, this Music Biz Marty guy has been trying to illegally intercept and steal it by saying that he bought it. What was your YouTube channel name? Huh? What was your YouTube name? I don't remember, dude. It's been a while. The Cyrax Archives? That's not mine. That's somebody else. But this, this Music Biz Marty guy, he... Um, like well, I said, he's been trying to intercept and steal the rig. It's here in Ohio. And we've been trying to work out how we can get it to back here. Because he, what he did was he illegally intercepted it. Because Taylor's ex, who actually ended up abusing her so bad that she's right now going through a case to have him arrested. He had the rig put in his name so that I couldn't get my hands on it. When the original owner was her, so she's the one that paid for it. Like, she was the one that originally paid for it. And Marty's going in and trying to illegally intercept it. And we don't know how to stop it. That's what I'm upstairs talking to them about right now. It's like, how can we get that rig over to here? Because technically, it's not his. It's technically hers. And she sent it to me as a birthday present. And we don't know how to go about stopping so that. So she's sending something. Where is it coming from? It, it was originally coming from Miami because she ordered it from uh, the Extreme Sim Racing website. For so if somebody sends you something and somebody else is doing their mess with that, they have to reach out to the proper channels to get that figured and out. Then, and, that's what he, and that's but what he ended up You take possession of whatever it is, it's her property so, that she sent. Exactly. And see, and what happened was the other day she ended up... Uh, getting sexually assaulted and beaten. Uh, the guy took her phone, locked her and her son up in a room, and would not let them out. Thankfully, one of the only reason why she got out was one of her close friends ended up just happening to swing by and check on her to see if she was okay. They heard her voice in the back, and they went back. God help. Talking to these people. Yeah, how do you, how are you getting this information that somebody was locked up and on Facebook through Taylor herself, my girlfriend. I was talking to her herself. The reason why she managed to get out was like she said, a friend of hers heard her in the back screaming. They went back to go get some of their friends and a couple of police officers to help. They got her out of there, and the guy ended up getting arrested. And he got out, but now he's on bail under the condition that he's not allowed around her and stuff like that. They have court next month. Like, I don't know fully how the laws work. Taylor though. lives in Miami. No, she lives in Australia. The rig is coming from Miami. She, or she made the order over here, and the rig is coming up here from Miami. It arrived in Ohio, like, a couple of days ago. And we don't know what to do about it. Where does this dude live? Huh? Where does he live? Uh, Marty. He was in, um, he was, I want to say, I want to say either Milwaukee or Chicago. I, or no, it's, no, no, it's in Illinois. He was somewhere in Illinois. He's in, he's in Illinois making these so bogus he's claims. Illinois. Illinois. He's and making your package these. packages in Ohio. He's and making these. What, he, what he's doing is he's going in and filing for a, um, a lost something claim. Okay. If it's not his name, it doesn't matter. If well, he what do we do in Ohio, you won't do anything. He can file what he wants. If he wants to file a lost claim for something that's not in his name, there's nothing that's going to be done. It's not his name. If it's in her name, she sent it to you. Unless he physically goes and takes it, then you'll get it when you get it. If I want to go in right now and say I lost a package, if it's in your name, you're not going to do anything about it. It's not mine. Right, and that's what we keep on trying to tell him. But he's one of the... So why are you talking to him? Because we're that's trying to get him to understand that he's legally not allowed yeah, to do this. Just him. I believe it or not, I've tried. Many times so I've tried. So how are you talking to him now? Oh, yes, he keeps on forcing me to get up on panel with him by how threatening. How is he forcing you to get on panel? By doing stuff you know, that's not okay, so like threatening my family, threatening my friends, um, doing stuff that's not okay, that's very much illegal. If this he's guy lives in Illinois. And he's threatening your family. How is he 
and we don't know how he does this shit, but he does it. The guy's got money. He comes from, a, I wouldn't say rich family, but his dad's a very well-known orthopedic surgeon. So he does come from money. Like, he comes from a lot of money, and he's got a lot of people on his side. Like, uh, that William Glory whole guy. Chet. If this dude lives in Illinois... I don't know how he's listening. If he keeps talking to you on social media and you don't want to talk to him, block him. Regardless of what he says. Well, when, uh, as far as like taking legal action against him, what can we do to stop him? We'd have, have to call where he's making the threats from. It's on Facebook, but it would be Facebook. See, we tried that, but like we actually, they always say like call the police in his area. Call the, and, we, and we did that. have to get in touch with the... And see, and we did that, but every time we call them, they say to call you guys. Well, we, and, you have to contact the people yeah. as to where it's happening at, which would be where he lives. Okay. Yeah. But it's social media, dude. Yeah. I mean, people are always going to talk on social media. Right. But so like block this, him, regardless of what he says, unless he shows up in Ohio doing something to you, block him. Well, he has showed up here before. Okay, if he does, then, then give us a call and we'll take care of you. Right. But somebody right. talking on social media, just block them. If, if you have a YouTube channel, there's always going to be somebody do talking you, on YouTube. Do you know what legal routes that we can take to try to put a stop to this? Because we've literally gone through everybody we can. We've gone through police, Dude, You're detectives. on social media talking to some random guy. See, you can try and get a protection on her, but you're on social media going back and forth with this dude. And that's you can't tell him to stop talking to you when you're talking to him. That's the thing, though. Like, I'm trying not to talk to him. I'm but really you are talking to him. If you don't want to talk to him, truly, he would not be on your social media platform. Well, he would not be on your YouTube as, channel. As, you far block as, as far as taking legal action against what he's done to me already, what can we do? Because a lot of stuff he's done to me and my family is very much illegal. What has he done? Bomb threats, uh, had drones dropping paint on our house, which I don't know if the paint stand still up there. We came out for those, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, know if you, I don't know if it was you guys or somebody else, but what I'm saying is police came out. Yeah, yeah. But like, they came out for that. Like, with the bomb threat, yeah, we didn't know if it was real or not. So me and my family, we packed up what little stuff we had and we left because we didn't know. Chat, are you understanding what I'm saying, man? Yeah, I do. It's just. I, I don't think you are. I actually do so understand you're what you're on, saying. You are on social media. So how, like, how can we put a stop to these guys? I, I don't advise you to stay on social media. You have, for the last couple years, you've had nonstop issues with YouTube and people going back and forth to on YouTube. It's social media. You're going to have that. You're going to have kids getting on YouTube. You're going to have grown adults who sit in their parents' basement and just do stuff all day online. That's what I do. All I want to know is, like, What's up? When you get a second okay. All I want to know is like, how can we stop these guys? Because I don't want to deal with this anymore. I want to be able to live my life. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like but you said, you, you you can block them. I, I'm Either that or or, or, or stay off stay off social media. I've actually tried that, but they show up here in real life every time, and it scares me. It scares so when, when they show up and when they do show up, like, what are you doing? Are you calling? Yeah, we are. We're calling the police, but by the time the police get out here, they're already gone. So and what do they just show up real quick? They show up briefly and then leave? Yeah. And we don't know what to do. So when they show up, what are they doing? Threatening us. Uh, see how the, how the porch is bowed? Mm -hmm. they, have, they ordered over a ton of cement to where this almost cracked. They throw stuff at the house, as you can see right there. Like, I don't know if you see, like, these brown spots on this wall. Mm -hmm. They've thrown stuff there. They've thrown eggs at our house. At one point last year, they uh, threw a brick through the windshield of my mom's car to where we had to replace it. Okay. And we don't know what to do about these people. Like, these guys aren't just one or two people. This is, like, yeah. literally hundreds. And we don't know what to do because I don't want to end up in jail and I don't want to end up fighting with these guys anymore. Yeah. I just want to live my life, you know? Because, okay. like, you know, even my friends are worried about it. They're like, dude, like, we don't want to see you in this position. Like, they want to help me as much as they can, but it's like, how do we stop this? Because yeah. what these guys are doing is a form of terrorism. So, what, what can I do? Like, what... Is, do you have any advice that I can tell my friends on what we can do? 
All, all we can tell you to do is, like you said, you, you can call the... Because, like, we want to go, the, like, me and my friends want to go the legal route to try to stop this mm -hmm. as much as we can. But, like I said, we've called police, we've called FBI, we've called detectives. Even Adult Protective Services has been out here, and nobody seems to be able to do anything. And we don't know what to do. Like, we are truly scared of these guys. Have you been exploring yourself online, man? Not lately, no. No? When was the last time you did it? Literally, like, I don't even remember. How old are you? 34. I you understand the issue with that, right? Yeah, I do, and I completely understand. So people are reaching out to your dad because you're exposing yourself online. They're saying that I am, but I'm really not. There's a video of you doing it, and the exact same thing you're wearing right now. That's an old video. But you're wearing the exact same thing. I know. I've right had now. I've had this shirt for about three to four years now, and these I made these about two or three years ago. Well, this this one, my best friend Jake and I threw this on here. And then this, I've had I don't, I don't care where you got it from. You understand the issue I'm saying here? Yeah, and like I said... So, so stop talking. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do. Okay, so you can't sit here and say, oh, people are reaching out to you, saying they're going to beat your ass, threatening you and everything else, well, when the, they're reaching out to you because you're exposing yourself well, online. No, the reason why I did... It doesn't do matter why you did it. You understand it's social media, right? You're a grown man. You understand there's kids on these apps, right? And I apologize. But it doesn't matter. You still did it. We came here for you doing the same thing on YouTube. And I'm sorry. I am genuinely sorry. I just don't know what to but do. But you saying you're sorry doesn't well, change the fact that some kid can, can see your video on you on social media. That wasn't on YouTube. I know it's on TikTok. No, it it's not. Matter. No, it's not. The original video that they showed was from Rumble. Okay. Now, can I ask I you something? You, I don't think you're understanding what I'm saying here, right? Well, can I ask you something? Sure. What legal route can me and my family The legal route that's going to happen is you getting arrested for exposing yourself online. I don't online. Know. What can I do? You can stop exposing yourself online and stay off social media. I will. You said the same thing about YouTube. Have you been on there lately? No, I have not. Matter of fact, if you want to, I can get my mom out I don't here. want to see it. So you you got off YouTube you got off YouTube and you went on another platform not to, to do, do that. no the reason but why there's I, video of you doing the it. reason why I originally went on Rumble was to confront Marty because he was threatening my girlfriend you just said you don't want to talk to him I Yet don't you went on another social media platform to because, talk to him because he was threatening my girlfriend in Australia he lives in Australia the she, one in Australia. Yeah, he ha I don't know how he does it, but he has his ways of threatening. Because it's social media. Do you understand how social media works? Yeah, I do. How does it work? You're always, you're always going to have people that are going to hate. You're always going to have people that are going to say and do stuff. And I understand that. When I first started doing social media, I did not sign up to get bullied. Well, nobody I, does, but it's... But this what, is where we live in. But what, what can I do to better myself? Because I do want to better myself starting Stop tonight. Stop exposing yourself online. This is the third time I've told you this. The first time was, well, I've been here twice for you on YouTube. And people keep reaching out to you because of YouTube because you're doing the same thing. Well, is there any way that I can, like, maybe have you guys in a way, like, try to talk to Marty or talk to my friends and, like, make sure that they, to, like, is there any way that, that I can have you, like, if I can get my friends on a video call on my thing upstairs, is there any way that you guys can talk to them to help them, to help me make sure that I don't do this again? How are they going to stop you from exposing yourself online? You're grown man. If you, don't think you can, if you don't think you can get on social media without exposing yourself, then you should not have social media. I can and I want to. I really do want to stop this. And like I said, I want to be held. You want to stop what? I want to stop reacting to these guys. Like these people have, this has been going on since 2017. And I am definitely afraid of these guys. I have literally watched friends and people I care about get hurt because of these people. So is there any way that maybe you guys can help me like work something out to where I'm not in this position? Because I don't know what else to do. Stay off social media. Just stay off of it.
irregardless of this guy reacting and threatening your family and leave it alone. Does Chaz have like a caseworker or anything like that? Or because he, he keeps repeating the same thing, saying pretty much that he's being bullied on social media. But as you said, they're reaching out to you because he's exposing himself online. He's not understanding that. I am understanding that. No, he does not. He's not. And don't I have don't a caseworker. Okay. But what you're saying is. Because no, what he's saying is that he needs someone, Seriously, no, he wants us to talk to his friends so his friends can make sure that he doesn't expose himself online. Does that, does that make sense to you? Okay. And he said he can't stop, but as you understand, he's a grown man. And him right. exposing himself online is a big issue. Uh, you understand what you're saying. Okay. I mean, they just, you know, we, we have to, uh, she has talked to him. I mean, there's only so much you can do. He is in your house. I would honestly, this. What does he use to get online? I don't know. I I, I know I know we got uh, Spectrum K uh, internet. Right. Does he have a like phone or is he on laptop yeah. computer? What does it say on that? One pay on that one. I'm not sure. Something about throwing this laptop or desktop, I think. Oh, okay. I would, I mean, if it was me and he's not listening, um, have you told him to stop exposing himself, stop doing, yeah. stop doing? If he's not listening, I would kick him off the internet. Okay, well then, you know, he, he's, he's gonna raise hell. He's gonna make other lives worse. He can do that? I mean, at some point, yeah, he's 34 years old? I mean, understand this. Yeah. Okay. He yells and screams at his mom. Gotcha. So I get pissed off. Gotcha. But not me going up there hitting him's not gonna help the problem. If oh, we right. if if we take the computer away, we we got a living hell. So is he uh he doesn't have anything as far as like giving you I forget what it's called. Pretty much he hasn't signed his rights away to you, has no. he? So no. he's still a legal adult, he's yeah. able to take care of himself, care for himself. So is he allowed? Is he able to live with himself? Live, live on his own? Uh, he, he don't. He, he don't make no money. He don't have a job. No. Is he able to live on himself? If he were to, if he were to get a house and somehow it could be paid for, could he live and function on his own? I think he could. Uh, at some point, he needs to get out of dad's house. He's thirty-four years old. Well, I'm not his dad. I thought you were dad. No, no, I'm my boyfriend. Oh, okay. Well, same thing. I mean, this is you guys' house, right? Well, you know, I told him tonight, I said, you know, you can't do that. Well, other people do that. I said, yeah, but other, people, other people don't get the police call now. Okay. But what you do have to understand is you can't put your hands on him, though. He's So he's not a kid anymore, so you can't discipline we're, him in the eyes of the law. He's 34 years old. Last, so. night, last night, he told me he was going to kick me on the steps because I went up after him. Because I told him, you know, this is enough. This is I said, go ahead and kick me down the steps. That's all I want you to do. How does mom feel about this whole situation? Well, you don't have to you go know, get her. I'm just, I'm just asking you. How, how does she feel about it? She, she don't, she don't want him on the computer, but yet she can't. Find her. She can't take the computer away. She can, turn, she can change the yeah, change the password. Don't give it to him. If he wants to raise hell and do crazy stuff, call us. We'll, we'll deal with it. He's a grown man. He's 34 years old. If you can't respect her house, you guys' house, and abide by your your rule, he doesn't need to be here. Well, you know, I, I feel like this. I've only been here seven oh, yeah. years. So huh? it's really not my house. They were here before. Since you've been here seven years? Yeah. Seven years. yeah. Well, they were here right. before. You have a lady that you guys are now living together. Her adult son is living with you guys. And he needs to... I understand what you're saying. Because it's not worth you losing your house where you're, right. where you're living because... You know, we keep on getting caught, right? You know, I mean, just, just between us, guys. Yeah, start for uh, Ethan Manchester, right? You say you want what? I don't want to be here. I can't take it. That's an option as well. I'm getting off this, though. I'm getting off this, though. I just got through a surgery and that was from the back. So all right, boss. Was... Just give us a call if you need us, man. You know the options, man, yeah. all right? All right, boss. All right. Good luck.